What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here and welcome to Legendary Dragons. This, I have to use a huge shout out to my friends over at Norville. Uh, they sent this over to me to check out. You guys are awesome. I am um, a huge fan of Norville. Uh, they've got some, some of the best add-ons out there, uh, I feel. They do a really good job and put a lot of work into their stuff, so I'm always appreciative of when they actually um, want to hear what I have to say about their uh, add-ons and games. This is a full-fledged game. Uh, you guys know me. I love dragons. So, huge shout-out to my channel members. Uh, Elijah, Andrea, Blockster, and M4 Penguin. You guys rock. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. If you guys are interested, make sure to think about uh, joining. We have a lot of cool perks. I'm about to start doing a lot more cool things. I got some servers, Minecraft servers about to start that only um, members have access to, as well as they automatically get access to my giveaways I do each month. I do a $20 Amazon gift card giveaway and a $30 Amazon gift card giveaway. $30 one is only available to members, and a $21 is available to subscribers. If you want to participate, make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment on my video. For each comment that you leave on a video I do this month, you get an entry. All right, let's get into this. I, I can't wait for this one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is the copy they sent over to me. Uh, I was not expecting a personal thank you in that. <laughs> thank you, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, what do we got here? I got a question mark. Ooh. Ooh. Or are we supposed to go talk to one of these guys? Ooh, Vikings. Oh, and we can get in that boat, huh? All right, all right. Now, apparently, they're supposed to have a settlement system, too, that we can use, which is what really got me excited. Well, I like the look, the custom look at everything thus far. Hey there, are, <clears throat> are you ready to start your adventure? Hang hey, on, let, before we do that, let's, what's, what's over here? Ah, information. Still don't know what that is. Okay. Okay. Unknown map. Sword. And we might need... Yeah, let's leave, let's leave it be. Ooh. Ah, good, good, good. An actual location map. Right on. So many of these, they give you a map, but it's not a location map, so you can't see where you're at on it. It makes navigating hard. Massive. All right, let's get into it. Yes. Oh, there you are. And it's voiced. I yes. I've been for this day for so long. The journey was long and treacherous, but it was worth it to finally set foot on this unknown land. This will be our new home, so we need to start building. I hope we find fertile land for farming, bountiful resources for building, and perhaps even new forms of wildlife. I am excited to see what this land holds and to make it our own. But we must not forget why we are here. You must travel to Old Cliff and talk to the king. Take my horse and this map. Follow the road, and you will find Old Cliff. Go now. He is waiting for our arrival. Right on. Okay, guys. Those of you who follow the channel know I love it when they take the time to do voice acting, and I applaud them. Well, a lot of people don't understand, voice acting is not easy to not only pay for, do, but then implement into the game. So when they take the time to do that, it really helps out people like me, especially seeing that I have a hard problem with reading. I have two. I have a reading and writing disability, so it it's really helpful when I can just listen instead of having to read everything. And plus, it just kind of brings everything to life. So this is our settlement. I got that from what he said. Cool. So there's things we gather, and we bring them back here. Build it. Uh, by the way, 
This reminds me of the person who sent it over. It was a good friend of mine, and he sent it to me. I liked what they did with their Ice Age one, which had a sediment building just like this. I love it when they throw these type of things in. I feel it just adds more to the game, being able to uh, build and adds just more fun, more agency to what you're actually doing than just going from quest to quest. All right, so we've got to travel to Old Cliff to talk to the king. We are at settlement. Okay, Old Cliff. Ooh, it's a, if we follow that path straight, eventually we get there. Wow, that's a decent. Where did he, he said he gave us a horse, right? He said, take my horse and this map. I don't see the horse. Did I miss him? Hmm. Oh, wait. Well, we'll just walk there. I like the uh, custom sword sound. Oh, the, the horse is right there. I just needed to keep following the path. All right, buddy. We'll be back because we got a lot of work to do rebuilding this town. Nice intro. Hang on, guys. I feel like there should be music playing, and I can't hear it. Maybe you guys can. Actually, yeah, I can hear it now. I just had my music down too low. I normally turn it down because of copyright. <laughs> I'm scared of copyright. But uh, when they sent me over the game, they ensured me that it is copyright friendly. So I, they actually recommend to turn it up so that you can hear it better. Because it adds, which I always say is a good thing. It adds to have. This side quest material here? What's up? Today I'm in need of some help. I am looking for five feathers. I have a special project in mind, but I cannot seem to find enough feathers. I'll be able to reward you decently. What's up? Ah, sweet. So the quests kind of go in here like markers. So you know where you're at. Right on. So we, uh... Let's see. Gather five feathers. I don't see any chickens for us to, uh... <clears throat> um, you know, politely ask for their feathers. So we'll just have to remember and come... <laughs> Back on that one. I'm going to guess that's where we're heading. Yep, that's where we're heading. Okay, so far, I'm loving the look of this place. It's looking good, and I like the idea of these uh, these quests. That's kind of what I, I look for. Man. Because uh, so many of these, they, they make a, a nice looking world, but they don't have, you, don't have anything for you to do in it. And eventually, you're going to get bored. Having actual quests, that's what turns this into a full-fledged game, not just an add-on.
Please help me out. My horse won't pull the carriage without won't pull the carriage without reward. Apples. So this one needs apples. We might as well take it. Hang on, let's rearrange some of this. Yeah, we might as well take them because So we need to talk to the king of Old Cliff. Oh. Okay. The texture pack they added. Rocks. Let's see if we can find the king of Old Cliff now. I'm guessing if we just keep straight, we'll get to the castle eventually. Ah, I see what you guys did there. That's awesome. What's up, King? <laughs> Without being announced. Well, there was no one to announce me, man. Greetings, traveler. You may ask yourself why I sent you, and you will get your answer. We need your help. You see, this land has always been ruled by kings and dragons. Dragons and humans live in harmony together. Dragons are kind and gentle creatures, and the people cherish them as protectors of the land. But over 100 years ago, a giant dragon appeared, causing destruction and terror throughout the villages. The dragon burned down homes and brought darkness to this land. My father knew that something had to be done to protect his land. He rallied his bravest warriors, and together they set out to capture the dragon. It was a fierce creature, and it took all of their strength and determination to capture the beast and bring it to safety. My father decided to keep the dragon in a mountain, where it would be safe and would not harm the people. He called it the Elder Dragon. With the Elder Dragon locked away in the mountain, the people of the land rejoiced. They were no longer afraid, and they could live in peace. But as time passed, my father started to notice that the mountain was changing. It was becoming more active, and he was worried that it would soon become a volcano. Over the years, its fears were confirmed. The Elder Dragon's power grew, twisting the mountain's heart into a sea of raging magma. Now we can feel the earth shake, and we're afraid that this volcano will erupt and cause destruction to our beautiful land. We close the prison with some kind of magic. You and your warriors need to open the gate and defeat the Elder Dragon, once and for all. Please, save us. This is our last chance. Okay, right on. Travel back to your settlement. Man, I feel like I'm playing Skyrim. <laughs> like, I, like, this is giving me huge Skyrim vibes. Then that's not mocking it. I think that's a good thing. wanted to take a quick look around. Dude, I love every little detail they've added. And that's that's definitely, I think, a characteristic of Norville Studios. They do go out of their way to add those extra details. Norville is definitely one of the studios that if they ever had a, a job opening for Tester or something like that, uh, and they asked me, I would, yes. 
even before knowing if it paid anything good or not. Just say yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's just keep going with the main storyline. We'll head back to our settlement. Keeping in mind that I need to find apples for this guy. I need to find feathers for the settlement that's on the way back home. And then I need to actually start working on the settlement as well. I'm I know I know that one of the main features of this is eventually we'll start taming dragons. So that's why I'm gonna keep going on with the main storyline. Hopefully we can get to that point. Cause I guarantee it'll be a whole lot easier to get around with a dragon. Okay, so, yep, this is the settlement that we went through. I'm guessing once we start fighting things... Now, I wonder... I see those skull and crossbones on the map. I'm pretty sure that's probably... Hang on, let's check. Mm-hmm. Settlement. Oh, you know that. Tamey, we're probably going to find that out. Dragon controls. Your ship. Oh, see, I wasn't expecting that, too. Ah, outpost. Yep, with the skull symbol on your map. what I was kind of looking for. <laughs> All right. Let's finish what we were doing. And I mean, I don't really need to look at this. I, if I just keep following the trail. Oh, man. I love that nice sky sky box they put in. That's, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I mean, looks like... Looks like the main thing we're gonna need is, well, wood. <laughs> Basically it. Can I? Nope, I can't. I'll have to go out there probably and gather it. We are here to learn about the dragons. That is our mission. But first and foremost, we must build our settlement. We will need to gather the necessary materials to construct our settlement. This is our settlement. Each building costs resources and comes with its own perk. The more buildings you build, the more villages will spawn in your settlement. You can find resources and outposts 
or by completing side quests. Mm -hmm. So we can't just go harbor, together. You can use the boat. You can easily sail across the sea and discover new places. Now that you know how to build your settlement, we need to start our mission. You can always come back here and build. Okay. We received a letter telling us a small village was attacked by a dragon. We have to go and talk to them and maybe learn about why the dragons are acting hostile. This town is called Pondlight. You can find it on your map. I'll meet you there. Alright, um... Alright then, so... Let's see... Pondlight... Oh, Pondlight's not even that far. Okay, so we can use our boat. Let's see, what's the closest outpost? It was on its way to Old Cliff. Well, yeah, we need to start clearing out some of those. Let's go to Pond Light, because I'm hoping we can find a, a dragon. Oops. Hang on. Oops. No. I need that. That's not what I wanted to hit. Ah! Stop hitting that, you idiot. I'm using a controller and I keep sliding my thumb on the wrong button. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, the music is awesome. I think it fits well. But again, it 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 gives me Skyrim Skyrim vibes and that's and again, like I said, that's a good thing. Skyrim is one of my favorite games. I still play Skyrim. Um when I do get free time, I I I I can play through Skyrim pretty much forever. Excuse me. Keep going. <laughs> Looking for resources. <laughs> Looks like someone attacked this village with an axe. Anybody home? Any stuff I can loot? I mean, uh, I want to help you. Do you want to investigate this village? Oh, yes. There you are. Hmm, that's weird. There's no one here. We have to look for clues. You search the houses, and I search the church. Meet me there when you are done. Okay, we got some uh, meat. Raw meat. We have to probably cook that later. Some gold. Here we got a crafting table. I think we can go inside now, right? 
Oh, that's not a door. That's a door. Aha! Day 46, bandits attack our village. Ah, so it was bandits, not a, not a dragon. We had to flee for our lives, leaving behind everything we knew and loved. The future is uncertain, but we must stay strong and hope for a better day. Um, question. If you had to flee for your lives, who left the letter here? Did you come back and put the letter on the table? Oh, we got an apple. We need three more. Cabbage. And uh, we got a nice, a knight's nice chest plate. <laughs> right on. I also like that my, uh, I like that my uh, custom character skin is actually working in this one. <laughs> Normally I have to write off even being able to use those. Okay, so we checked that house. I think, yeah, I checked that house. I don't think we checked this house. And we've got cheese. Sweet row. <laughs> All right, I've got to have, I've got to contact my friends over there in Norville, see if they want to do a, a uh, interview about this game. I've got some questions I want to ask them. Someone stole my street row. Okay, he said he would be in the church, right? Calm down now. You don't want to anger the dragon. Sweet lord. Try to approach the dragon calmly and maybe give it some meat if you have it. The myths say that only the chosen one can ride the dragons. I think the dragon has chosen you. No offense, but how could you possibly know that? Sweet, got some meat. I'm pretty sure that's what he meant by approach slowly with some meat. Yo, what's up, buddy? Don't you want some meat? Yo, what's up? Will you be still? I'm trying to feed you. Dude, like... Oh. Okay, I was about to say that. I'm like, you just you just ate a bunch of meat, nothing happened. That was strange. Okay. Oh, so that's his attack. So look up. Yep. Okay. Alright, so did dude go back to the settlement? And also... How do I get my boat back? <laughs> or will he follow me? He don't he won't follow me. Alright, let's just fly back to the settlement then. I mean he's just over here, so it's not like my boat's gonna get lost. I wonder if I can recall it. Is it 
to study the gate. I implore you to make haste for a time due and no wait. I shall wait for you. Okay, there he is. That's the guy we just were talking to. Okay, so I say now that we got our we've got we've got our own little dragon friend now. I gotta think of a name for him. So you got to collect that, collect that, and then the new mission of travel to the prison. Oh, Dragon Hill Prison, which must be that one right there at the bottom. Okay, before we go do that, let's take on an outpost. Up we go, buddy. There's one. Ah, see, getting around is a lot quicker when you've got a dragon, buddy. Okay, so there's an outpost coming up right here. Let's clear it. Catapult they're firing is pretty freaking accurate. <laughs> we got that cleared. I like the attacks. They're not overpowered. But I'm guessing they might depend on the type of dragon we have. Okay, so they've actually got a pretty good uh, neutral zone with the flying. What I mean by that is a lot of times when you have to look up and look down to control the dragon's flight in these, you have a problem with being able to stay in the air and actually fight. The neutral zone that they've created in the middle that allows you to hover is actually a decent size, as you can see. Uh, when I really want to gain different altitudes, I've got to actually really, really, really be going for them. And that's actually pretty good, because then it allows for me to actually be able to clear these things a lot easier. But let's go ahead and land. Oops. All right, boss. Don't move. I'll be back. Wait. Can I make him sit? No, I cannot. But it doesn't look like he'll go anywhere. This ends now. It's time for war. Ooh, nice animation. Take them down. This ends now. Ooh. It's time for war. I like that. Okay, I am loving the animations for these bandits. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's really bringing them to life. Okay, where you at? Where's the last guy at? Is there one down there? Oh, wait. Take that. Ooh, look at that. Resources. Take that. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's something climbed up, but let's make sure we've cleared the bottom part. 
Yeah, I'm liking the animations on these bandits. They're, it's actually pretty cool. This I knew there was one of you down there. Okay. Did we clear all of them? These are small outposts, but... Okay, it'll be fun going through and clearing those, which will looks like we'll have to clear a lot to be able to unlock all of the settlement. I think that's it. We don't, oh, wait, there's another one right there. There we go. I knew there'd be something big. Okay, so we've got more gold. Okay, and a rune for fire resistance. Well, this sword's going to need to be replaced. Now, there was a section in the information about runes, but I, I was glossing over it because I was looking. I wanted to look up what these outposts did. Let's go get our dragon buddy. I think we have enough to go do another outpost, actually. Where's the closest next closest one? And I'll have to keep track <laughs> of all the ones we're clearing. There's one in front of what is that? Lake Halt? Let's go there. Is that a hidden outpost? I think it is, because it's not on the map. All right, let's go clear it. It's time for war! Huh. Oh! shield. <laughs> A bag of food. Raw salmon. Ah, a shield. And more resources. There we go. So how do we get up there? Uh, this ends now. I'm gonna guess. Ew. Jumping puzzle. We meet again, my mortal enemy. Now. 
There's also a good enemy variety thus far. We know there's someone in there, but is there anything going on out here? He'll, he'll be okay, guys. Don't worry. He's going to get back up here any minute. Huntsman helmet, huh? Arn shard. And more gold. But we've got some resources. We can actually start building things back at the settlement. It looks like we might need to actually find. Oh no, we have our health gen. Um, uh, for a second there, I, was, I thought we weren't getting it back. All right, let's head back to the settlement. Yeah, I believe that was a little hidden outpost. Wait, going the wrong way. We want to go this way. that yet. Horse stables. Tavern. There we go. I'm going to guess that you have to actually put it in physically. There we go. Uh huh. Of course. You gotta build a tavern first, guys. I mean, after a hard day adventuring, you're gonna need some hot meat and some uh, turkey leg. What's up? Okay, so. I mean, I feel like we should just keep on doing. <laughs> okay. Let's do one more of the missions. We'll do one more of the missions and then we'll get back to hunting down. So he said to meet uh meet him in the prison. Dragon Hill prison looks like it's the one right there at the bottom. I guess we could also... Okay, yeah, this is the village we just... We got our new buddy here. I shall name him Draco. Interesting. Is that ship an outpost? I think it is. Oh, yeah, we got to clear it, y'all.
catapult is the real big one I've got to clear out of the way. But it doesn't hurt to clear out these guys too while they're at it. Wow. Whoever you are, you're tough. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure I could take a bunch of fireballs to the face. guy being a boss coming out to fight the guy on the dragon take this guy out then we'll go clear the ship on foot Draco, I got your back, boss. Retreat! <laughs> Come on, you. Retreat! Uh oh. Uh oh. Retreat! Actually, get back on Dragon and <laughs> fly out of here because I wasn't paying attention to the fact my sword was breaking. sword something that I can eat look at the cabbage I don't want to eat those apples come on guy retreat My problem with my, when I do combat is I forget I have a shield every single time. I forget I have a shield and go, hmm, maybe I could be blocking or something. No, that's impossible. Okay, let's put you here because we know what we'll have to do put you back over there okay anything else okay let's try to eat this other piece of cheese <laughs> then we'll go for the cabbage and the bag of food next anything else okay let's keep going I was going to do a my normal kind of let's play series, but I think I'm going to do a full playthrough. Just going to keep going. I don't want to stop playing. Dragonstone. Don't know what that is. Guess we'll figure it out, won't we? I'm going to also guess there's a book. Okay. Uh. I'm going to also guess that we have to feed the dragon to uh, heal it. I can hear somebody. I like the different layers of the ship. I think there's everything. 
right on. Let's go. Oh, wait. I gotta check. There might be something up there. <laughs> I gotta check every nook and granny, man. You never know. Nope. Didn't see anything. All right. Let's keep going where we are going. Definitely getting more armored up. We're going to need to go to the blacksmith for some of this money and buy another weapon this has got to be the prison that he was talking about travel to the prison or is that the prison the giant thing <laughs> Dragon Hill Prison. This has got to be what he's talking about. See resources down there. might be important. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't know. There could be a quest that potentially needs all this stuff, so I'm gathering it. Alright, let's head up there. Love the sound effects of the dragon from the footsteps and everything. What's up, boss? Are you ready to study the gate? Okay. Ah, there you are. You found the prison too. I've been standing here studying the gate for quite some time now, and I'm a little unsure how we can open it. It looks like it's closed with some kind of magic, but if you look closer, you can see a dragon symbol. It is similar to the symbol you can find by the statue near the burnt village. Start it. Investigate the burnt village. Oh, well. Wish someone would have told me that before I already looted one of the things that was there. <laughs> Come on, Draco. Let's go. Oh. Very interesting that the place uh, this important is unguarded. Okay. Excuse me. Dragon so obtained? Okay. <laughs> Don't know what we did there. We already opened that, right? Okay, 
there's no way to get in there, is there? Not that I can see. No door that I'm missing. Granted, it is at night. It's hard to see. Ah. I sense a jumping puzzle of some kind. explore the areas we can get to. Ah. Could have got that. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Arrows, another rune, fire resistance. Ah, two handed axe. Let's, uh, oh, dragon soul. We just got that from, uh, okay. I did not see the update for that. I'm still looking for clues. Well, I mean, it's kind of a good thing. I wouldn't have found the, the axe had I not. Come on, buddy. So that's what we're missing. According to the writing on the gate, we will need five dragon souls. You must find the other four statues and obtain the last souls. You have to do it fast. I can feel the earth shaking. We have little time. Okay. I got food I need to cook. <laughs> I guess I could just eat it raw. Okay, so we found one statue here. Because we just have to keep looking until we find the other one. Which is fine. I say. Let's keep clearing our outpost. <laughs> okay, so I cleared out that that one. I cleared out that one. Okay, there's a couple. Now there's one in front of that. I thought that area that we passed over there was the prison, but I was wrong. So there's one straight ahead that we can go ahead and clear on our way back to the settlement. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one. Flying around, make sure there's no catapults. land
Making our way up. Cook it on the Retreat. fireplace. Retreat. Make sure to, ah, there's a guy right there. That's what I was looking for. What do we have here? Paper. Oh, it's a resource. You will be remembered. Two more apples, and we can head back. Uh, I think that was... The apples was... The person outside of... Uh, one... What was that? Old Cliff. There's a whole barrel of apples right here. Why can't I just take them? I have yet to use the bow. I wonder, will I get sick if I eat this raw chicken? Okay, I like the axe. I feel like it hits harder. At least it feels like it hits harder, and that's that's a good thing. You want your weapons to feel different. Did I come from this way? No, I took a ladder up, didn't I? Yeah, I could have came from this way, though. That's cool. Many ways to get around in these. Let's keep going up. Okay, I'm gonna check every nook and cranny I can. Ceiling, okay. We can go back. I know that ladder went up to a different spot that we had uh, first saw. And coming down here. At least I think there was a ladder. Oh no, this was taking us up this way. Did we clear everything already? Oh, so, no, no, I, I knew there was another ladder up somewhere. Our base is under attack. Ooh, rune shard. I've got, I'm gathering up so much stuff. Yeah, I better take that sword. I might need it. There we go. Huntsman's leggings. Hopefully, we can put some of this stuff in the settlement somewhere. Alright, we've got 20 resources. That'll give us a good amount to build some. We gotta go around and build some of the cheaper things. Back to Draco.
Yeah, we are completely stuffed. We can't we can't clear out any more. So let's Stop and look through this place here that we're passing. Once I drop off that, I think I'm gonna just stop even looking at the map. If I ain't been there, I'm gonna go check it out. Cause it's, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of small quests that uh, that we can do as well. All right, right down to here, boss. Okay, let's go look at everything. So this is the gatehouse to protect your settlement. We already saw that, we already saw that. Let's go to some ones we haven't seen. For instance, this one. Ah, to sleep and store your loot. You mean, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to save up and get that one. We're going to need that. Dragon statue. So, everything takes resources. J just the basic resources. There's nothing else we need to gather. Okay. Hey, that makes it it makes it easy. We have this we can store things in. All right, we'll leave you there. I'm going to guess that we can use these shards with the blacksmith to upgrade our equipment. All right, so you stay here. You stay here. You stay here because I don't know what we have to use those for yet. Um, same thing with you and you and you because I've got the night stuff I'm using right now. Um, the book because I don't know what we do with that. Bag of food. I can't eat it, so we'll store it here. Um, I don't know what we do with these, so we'll store them here for now. Same thing with the paper. It's a resource we probably have to gather for somebody. You know what? We'll leave these fish here, too. And... No, I want to keep that. We don't need that. Um, we'll leave you here because if we need more information, we'll come back. The rest of that's food we're going to need as well as things we got to turn in. All right, let's go. I still haven't found any feathers, though. I'm also curious. Is there anything we can do maybe here to recall the boat? No. I just wanted to make sure. It's going to be over there by that other village, which is fine. I know where it's at. All right, then. Let's head back to Draco. Let's go clear out some more outposts. And how much do I need? I feel like I should go ahead and get this. The longhouse. I'm not sure. Because I have a place to sleep and I have a place to store stuff. But that's about to get filled. <laughs> that's going to get filled up quickly. Okay, hang on, because we still have a lot of stuff to do. So let's go ahead then and think about what we want to do here. Um, Cause we've got to search out those dragon souls anyway. That would be the blacksmith, which would give, which would increase build a farm to get more villagers. That's the cheaper option. Fish hut. To buy fish. More villagers. To 
trade. Hunter's hunt. Is hunter gear better? No, oh, I have it. I have it stored in there. Okay. I think that's. I think that's it for now. You have more villagers. All right, I've got to read that information thing on how we use those rooms. <laughs> Hang on. I skimmed over runes. So these ancient artifacts hold immense power and can grant you powerful boosts in battle and exploration. You can find these rune stones scattered, waiting to be discovered. Each rune stone has its own unique ability, water beam, blah, blah, blah. So how do I use them? Kind of this different rune shards. So rune shards can be placed on weapons and armor. And runes give you unique abilities. So... Ah! You throw them, it gives you that ability. Okay, actually, I might carry that with me. And then this, the rune shard, I can put onto a weapon or armor. Okay! Good to know, good to know, good to know. All right, then, let's keep going, then. Let's sleep. Yeah, I will carry that with me. All right, then, let's head to another outpost. I'm, I'm in outpost honey mode right now. I want to, I want more resources to start building this place up. Um, we've got 20. If I save up, I can buy the longhouse, which will give me more storage, which I'm definitely going to need. We need 20 more. I, I want to get more storage. So how many more apples we need? We need two more apples. Did that I did that outpost in the mountain. Uh, there's another one across the way from Old Cliff. That we did not do. I already did the one that's closest to it. Oh yeah, I, th I was going to stop at the other place that looked interesting. Uh, don't worry. We will. This has got to be it right here. I'm going to clear all these things out. Then every time I go to get another quest, it's going to be things I've already gathered. And we're like, oh, okay. I really actually, I like this idea of these bigger outposts. Because it's actually fun to clear them out. Come on, guy, what you got? Down. Yeah, I would definitely say the uh, axe kind of does more damage. Yeah, they, I think they go down a little faster with the axe. Wait, I'm an idiot. Five. Yeah, of course it does. <laughs> it does more damage. It says it does. <laughs> 
helps when you actually pay attention. His durability is a lot better, too. There we go. Retreat! What we got here? Protection. Something we could put on armor. I hear somebody else. I don't see where he's at, though. How do we get Retreat. up there? Is there... Retreat. Is there steps that I missed? Or a ladder? Retreat. <laughs> he keeps screaming, retreat. Retreat. Ah, there he is. Come on, come on, what you got? Oh, we got the apples. Another one of you guys. It's got to be up higher. Ooh. Ah, feathers too. Right on. Bear claw, huh? I'll take, but. Those are normally fast but weak attacking weapons. What you got? What you got? Son, you guys don't know who you're messing with. This ends now. Wait, I'm <laughs> just as I opened, I said, Wait a second, I should have cleared this place before I did that. Just as I opened it, I'm like, wait, then boom. <laughs> oh, should be able to eat the lettuce. Our cabbage. Ooh. I love the variety of weapons as well. Ooh, we just need five more, then we can uh, do the long. Yeah, this is why I want to go ahead and get the longhouse done. There's a lot of stuff I want to gather. I'm I, I'm a gatherer. I like to collect when I play games like this. Oh crap! That's not what I meant to do. No, my knees. What's up, boss? Okay, we are off. That was a good run. Okay, so we are facing that way. There's one straight ahead. I, I cleared a hidden one on the way to this one. That one over there, I think, is one I cleared. I have yet. I don't think I cleared this one though.
Amazingly, no catapults. Ooh. But there's another dragon. I don't know if we can get them to follow us or not. Hang on. Let me get over here and read the information real quick. Because if I can get them to follow, I'll go grab them both. If not... Controls. Once you have tamed the dragon, you can now ride it and attack with it. Yeah, I know that. Yep. Heal your dragon. Oh, make your dragon sit. If you have multiple dragons, they will follow you. If you want them to stay in one place, simply hit them. And they will sit, hit them again, and they will stand up. Okay. So is this one sitting? No. Now it's sitting. And now it's following. Okay. Good. Good to know. That means we can go conquer the other guy. I mean, I say conquer. I mean tame. doing there, buddy? Two, stay here, be friendly, and I will go clear that outpost, and I'll be back, and I'll take you guys to the settlement. We'll leave one of you there. So I've got your Draco, and I think I will name you. Um, ooh. Hmm. I gotta think about that. I'll be back. I think of a dragon name. You will be remembered. Our base Ooh. is under attack. Yes, it is. What you got? start playing around with that stuff later. This is, says draws trousers. Let me see. Would that be 
Better than the leggings? Okay, that's where that put. No, it looks like these leggings are better. I get more armor rating with them. Okay. Okay, we'll keep on hang on to them. Might be useful. I like that they managed to capture the different feel of the different weapons and fighting things. It makes it fun to actually go through all this. Back up. Back up. Back up. these big outposts. It's fun. Like I said, it's fun clearing them. Nothing in here. Ooh. Oh, I was already in there. You idiot. <laughs> cleared this little thing, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Whoa. It's time for war! Ouch. Feel that hit, man. That <laughs> I can. Like, that's actually pretty good. What do we got there? Baked potatoes. Finally, something cooked. Sweet roll and a double axe. Sorry, man. I'm keeping all the weapons, man. <laughs> I mean, granted, the two-handed axe and the. Uh, well, these two axes are actually holding up pretty good, but they are going to eventually break, so... Is there anything else I can eat? Because I want to just eat that. Pretty sure it would give me more if I cooked it, but I, I need to actually sit down and actually cook something to do that. Did we clear everything? Because we were here, right? Yeah, I cleared that already. Cleared that already. I think we've cleared the whole place now. Right on. Okay, then. Okay, I was going to try to do a complete playthrough, but there's too much to do in this game. So I will I will be doing, I will be breaking my normal formula. Instead of doing small 30 minutes, I'm probably going to go on for a couple hours. So maybe two, three hours each. If we can keep up a couple episodes with that, that's a good, good game. All right. Now it says they will follow. We have enough to build the long which 
way we go? Okay, we're going the wrong way. This is the way. Yep, okay. Let's head back to the settlement. Drop some stuff off there. Then I want to clear the island next to where the settlement was. Or at least where I picked up our first guy. Right, right there, this stuff there. We should explore that. As well as that island with the broke down thing. I mean, I feel like... It's better to explore everything with my dragons anyway than my ship. It's faster. Now, it's cool that they had it there. Okay, let's land you guys right here. Oh, you're here. But it, I don't think the other guy followed me. It says they'll follow, right? Make sure. Yeah, they're not following me. It's okay. I know where he's at. So we'll go back and get him. After we're done doing what we're doing. I don't want to lose any of my dragons. Where's the section? Yeah, it's over there, isn't it? Booyah. I wonder. Yep. Put them there and we can cook them. Can we cook fish? Yes, we can. Okay, we have enough apples, right? We can go and finish that quest now, too, can't we? Ah, plenty of storage. Let's put you there. You there, you there, because we don't need that yet. I'll hang on to this for now. Leave you there. I know where the other one is at. Raw pork chop. Let's go ahead and cook them bad boys. Should definitely help. Now oh, we've got that. You know what? Cook that too. Okay. Anything else we can avoid to lose while we are here? Then we will go gather up that other thing. Yeah, they... Like for the most part, they stay put. Like I said, this guy right here is sitting, but he's not hes not following me. I can give him to sit, but I can't get him to follow. Okay, then let's keep going. All right, came back, got some more food. Okay, that should definitely help. 
Now that we've got cooked stuff. Maybe right there. All right. Anything else? Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that quest with the apples, but... Yeah, oh, that's right. <laughs> I need to go get our other buddy. I have to go around the mountains. It'll be a long walk. But I don't want to leave them behind. It was ease at that outpost that's right in front of uh, Lake Holt. I would take the horse, but I don't want to lose the horse. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta go around the long way almost. Cool thing is, once we get him, we can go back to doing what we were doing. The map is just the right size. Big enough that you have a lot to do, but not too crazy big that it takes you forever to travel across. I like the fact that we can walk back to these certain places and it not take us forever. But at the same time, you still feel the advantage of having uh, a flying dragon to help get you around quicker. there. <laughs> In fact, I think I can put that down and we can just head straight there without having to look. We round this corner. Okay, like sound department, you guys knocked it out of the park. The ambient sounds, the music, you knocked it out of the park with that. climbing up to it, but my dragon is actually right there. What's up, Draco? How you doing, buddy? All right. Up, oh, let's go. Come on. Up. Up. Getting stuck on things. There we go. Up, up, up. <laughs> okay, buddy. glitched out a bit. And you can't get him to sit. Did I have to retame him or something? Okay. Come on, buddy. What's wrong? Are you stuck on something? <laughs> I 
All right, maybe I need to get you back to the settlement and then let our new guy uh, fly me around for a bit. Well, you're moving quickly, but uh, you're not getting off the ground. Maybe that's why he couldn't follow us. He's moving faster than a horse. Okay. Okay, then. Okay. Uh, yes, let's go ahead. We're going to check out this, these two areas over here. Neither one of them are marked as an outpost, but that doesn't mean they're not. That might have happened because I jumped off of Draco before uh, he was sitting or landing on the ground. So I might have, I might have glitched him out doing that. We'll worry about it next time. Sure there was nothing in here that we might be able to use maybe some loot or something doesn't look like it ah we shall name him Rico I believe this one right here is a hidden outpost. At least it has potential of having some stuff in it, at the least. gold too we need to actually head to one of those kingdoms see if we can buy anything worth anything i forgot all about the gold yep yeah, i can hear them anybody home Snap. Retreat. <laughs> there we go. Oh, even more apples. Sweet. I guess the thing I'm looking for now is feathers. Yeah, we've got a. I need to turn some of these in, though. Okay. 
Jarl's cape. Y'all's cape. Come hang on to that. We might need it for something. See why I unlocked the long house? <laughs> Sorry, I in the games like this, I am a I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I'm a hoarder all the way. I want to keep everything. All right, let's go turn in that quest. He should give us supplies. Come on, Rico. Let's roll. Now, he was at Old Cliff. That means... Okay, we're heading that way. Actually, I don't really need that. Yeah, I can just follow the path from the settlement. See, I'm starting to starting to learn the map. Now, there's a mine shaft right here that we should check out when we're done. How much time? We're still doing. We still got time to do some stuff. So. Just checking, man. Just checking. You have been given tin gold. Okay, so is this a continuous? Okay. So this is a continuous. Oh, no, it's not. It's not continuous. <laughs> For a second there, I thought it was something we could keep coming back to do it. No. Okay, so the reward he gave us was gold. We've got... What is that? 60... 66 gold? Okay, let's see what we can do with it. Alright. So this is the market. Okay. Okay. Not too impressed with that. We got most of that. <laughs> what is that? Like a bank or something? Actually, no, no. Let's head back there. That's kind of, I think that's kind of like the market. See if there's any other place that we can, might be able to buy something from. If not, we'll move on. Dude, is there something down there? Can't get there. Oh, there's a tavern. We could have brought the apples the whole entire time. <laughs> What's that? Is that bread? Yep, bread. Okay. I very much like how they have this set up. 
Okay, let's keep going. Um, let me head back to my dragon. I think we got enough time to clear out another outpost. Maybe pick up another quest. We still need how many feathers? We need three more feathers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's right. We were going to check out the cave next to that village that we were passing. My thing is there's so much to find. I forget sometimes where I've gone and that's actually pretty cool. All right. Oh, ouch. Hello? Don't mind me. Just your local health inspector. Yeah, these like little mini dungeons. Oh my god, it's just like I said, it reminds me of Skyrim so much. <laughs> like uh like just like one of the mini random caves that you can clear. Clear it. Anybody home? You got any feathers? Okay, let's see what he died to protect. Oh, ho, ho, two feathers, man. Ah, and some resources. 15, right on. Ooh, knight's boots. Right on.
see if we can spot another place to clear out. So we need one more feather. Where are we at? We have not gone up past Oak Cliff. So let's see if we can spot anything. Is that the outpost I already cleared? Yes, it is. And they don't respond, right? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Let's keep going. Ooh, look, another dragon. I would claim it, but, uh... With them, with the follow not working, I uh, maybe I'll, that's one thing I'll do later on. Like off camera, I'll go gather up dragons and bring them back to my home, my my settlement, so you guys can see all the different look looking ones. I'll have to go through that area later. I'm looking for fight. There is a quest. Mm, we'll pick it up later. Let's. There's an outpost up here. Let's clear that outpost, and that'll be the final thing we do for this big episode. Next episode, we'll start out again by um, building something else. Ooh, look at that. Oh. Hopefully we get some more resources and we'll start next episode by doing some more in the settlement. We got all the feathers. Good, we can finish that quest too. Ah, more breathing. Those are actually good to keep with us. And paper. I know, paper. Someone is gonna ask for paper. I can already, I can sense it. I can feel it in my bones. Someone is going to ask for paper and we're going to already have it. Right on. Come on, what you got? Punk. Did most of the damage yourself, guy. What were you doing? <laughs> Got another fire resistant rune, some more coin. Aha! Resources. Okay, we'll be able to actually, if we do some of the smaller ones, we should be able to do two of them with what we got now. Okay. Oh. Don't mind if I do. This is a trap. My mace. Leather boots. Another book and quill. Maybe I guess that's just, again, things we can collect. And I'll leave the boot. Well, that might be. <laughs> See, this is the problem you get when you want to collect every doggone thing. Uh, 
I got it. Let's... I don't really need to. Dang it. Um. Oh, I know. I can leave those. I won't need these. No time soon. Food is valuable. And plus, I know where this is. I do want to pick this. I think I might need that for something for sure. All right. Let's go turn in this uh, feather quest. And then that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll start out right where we left off. Pretty sure that's another outpost right there. <laughs> I can spot some of them. And I'm also pretty sure somebody's got to give us some requests, too, if we actually go through some of these areas. Now, she was... Let's see. Old Cliff. The village we passed straight through to get to the settlement. It's gotta be this one, yep. Yep. And we'll check this place out too. Alright. Yeah, there she is. I've got feathers for you. Give feathers. Aha, she gave us resources. So we'll have, we should be able to, if, if we do something small, we should be able to build, <laughs> I love how she disappears. <laughs> um, I love how they, the NPCs disappear when you finish the quest. Okay, so we should have enough to do two or three things if we do something small or one big thing. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I This is a different type of episode I'm trying to get. When you have a game like this that has so much to, to do and cover, my small little 30-minute videos ain't going to do it any justice. So we're going to definitely uh, do an, at least another episode, at least one or two more episodes. It all depends on how much uh, this this game has to offer. As you can see, we're, we're constantly doing something, and we still have a couple areas we haven't even touched yet. So... Definitely stay tuned if you're enjoying this or go check it out. I wouldn't hesitate. Uh, I almost always check out everything from Norville Studios. They do a really good job on their stuff, as you can see. A lot of time and patience went into this. I'm also going to see if I can get a hold of them, see if they might be interested in an interview about this one. Because this is definitely awesome. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Average Arcader out.